Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. I'm your host Phoenix and today I have one of the reoccurring people that uh, aren't tired of me yet. My good old friend Jolene. <laughs> it's basically Hello. true. <laughs> what, you don't think it's true? Huh? Well, you don't think you don't think it's true? I I didn't hear I didn't hear nothing. Huh? You didn't hear the the intro? I heard the, the, one of the few people that aren't sick of you. That's what you meant. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, I dragged Jolene. We're at we're at the we're at the Target dumpster right now, and we're finding a couple of good things. I fa I found these cool shirts. And whatnot. Oh, they, nice. They, they There's did. a hole in that one. Yeah, they keep putting holes in these before they throw them away, so I gotta learn how yeah. to sew. Damn, fucking Target employees. Goddamn. <laughs> but you know what's cool about this Target? They have one of those Starbuckses, so when they throw away, like, those stale cookies and, like, biscuit things, we get to eat them. And whatnot. Maybe you get to eat them. Yeah. Yeah, they're very oh, stale. Ooh, is it like one of the bee ones? Uh, it's a strawberry one. Ah, that's still good though. Well, anyway, while we were in the dumpster, we we found a couple <laughs> books and whatnot from my favorite book series and everything. A book series that will never be updated ever again. I'm pretty sure the author is like God in the wind. They're they're never coming back. But I hold the that hope every writer. day. The fan fiction writer, sure. Yeah. This is like one of those, um, it's like one of the memes I keep saying of like, me when I'm old and decrepit and like, If you ever see this, this fan fiction update after I'm gone, you're going to my grave and reading this shit to me! That's what I, this is my story. If this ever gets updated after I die, someone goes to my grave and read this to me. <laughs> and that is a mandatory thing to do. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to do it after we take the hit on you for having to use that as a piece. That's empty three four. Yeah, it hasn't even. No one's landed on it yet. It, the only, Thank God. Yeah, it. I. It's only between me, like you and Sage who will get to read it with me. No Minho. I don't think I could put Minho through that. <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought about it and I'm like, nah, that's gonna be weird. <laughs> Cause I don't think he has any idea any of my of. By hyperfixation, so it's gonna be a lot of explaining of why he's just reading about two gay Italians or Asians. Yeah, that's the, like the same thing for me. No, it's, I can't, I explain shit to you, and you're like, please shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> and then I say the same thing with Sage, and then they're like, oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> we don't want to hear about your SMG four thing. Well, anyway, we're talking about One Piece now. We're, One we're on, we're on that boat. The One Piece, the One Piece is real, and we're on, we're on that boat right now. We're on that fandom. We're sailing off with this book called Blue Bouquet, a Sanji X reader, the same author that wrote the Law X reader. the The first three that they've written are label complete, and they are the last three that they've written, nothing. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Like I said, this might update randomly, and we might just do, like, a very short ten-minute reading of us being like, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, oh my god, it updated, holy shit. But, I don't know, these were long. The long one took, like, what, eight eight sessions to read through? I, so, I think so. If yeah. you hear- I hope- I hope you don't hear any of the thunder. How dare you have it thunder there? That's some unprofessional shit. No, I'm kidding. The power went out earlier. Oh shit. <laughs> well, we're at the introduction before- Oh wait, I, did I read the intro of this? Oh. Mm. No. The story- We don't even have a name. Oh yeah, the story of a lover boy in his search for love, expecting it to appear when he least expects it to. I do not own any of the characters in this story. Alright, before we read this story, I highly recommend you checking out the Love World Starter to clear things up if you haven't already, and then here are the basics. So we gotta come up with a name. I got I got this really good one, right? Phoenix. And then last name Flare. <laughs> if you want that, you know. 
<laughs> I was I was looking at names. No, I, I can't be too much in in this. All right. If, uh, I'm not down. I'm not that down bad for Sanji anymore. I feel like a disgrace. I know. I know you're not. Yeah, if this is like a Mr. Puzzles X reader or like Vox, I God. would to don't. What do you mean? Don't would <sighs> see. This is why we I make you suffer. <laughs> I'm gonna start praying again. <laughs> damn, that, can you? The, damn, I can't imagine being someone's reason of getting back into religion. That's some crazy shit. <laughs> Anyway, we don't have a name yet, but for eye color, I'm thinking green. Anyway, green? Not. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And uh, green eyes goes with, like, brown hair. Or, oh, we can be ginger. Green green eyes and orange hair go together. They, they're, like, corresponding, like, DNA things. Because I... Yes. Yeah. Yeah, like a lot of people that have brown eyes have brown hair, and then a lot of gingers that I see have have green eyes and whatnot, and then blondes have blue eyes. We're so smart. In my brain, in my brain, I feel like you're just making you're just making gingy. <laughs> you're just having gingy and sanji. What? No. And then, what? What are the other ones? Oh, skin color. What? What, what do we want this bitch skin to look like? I mean, I don't know. What about caramel color? Like, like a, like a tannish color? Okay. I don't like. I thought you were making a joke like that inside joke I told you. What? <laughs> you know, you know that thing I told you that someone said to me, just like this would look so good on you with your. Oh my god! That's right. <laughs> Man, you call it out. Uh, <laughs> it's so funny. It's so funny. Because I was like... I was not a camel at the time. Yeah. Did the, <laughs> I, wa I wish I was there for it, just to hear the tone of their sincerity when they said that. They, they It was over text message. I literally just had to stop and put my phone <laughs> down. <laughs> you fully walked away. Favorite color? Why don't we do like an emerald color? Like that shiny green. Yeah, that, that works. Yeah, and then hair. Do we want long hair or short hair? I kind of want. I'm kind of feeling short. Okay, short. Not like short, short, but like a little. Yeah, like, like the like the length I have, or. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we ain't doing no pixie cut. And then, what what other things do we have except for? Oh, uh, favorite food. Have... <laughs> Chick fil A sauce. Yeah, <laughs> our favorite food is like... Chick fil A sauce. <laughs> They just like they just scoop it up with their hand. All right. Uh, okay. First name. Oh, sorry. Your name. Uh, Cameron. There we go. Spelled with a why'd Y. You, <laughs> why'd you make Cameron dead? He's got to have some color with him. All right. <laughs> okay. Also, it's spelled C A M E R Y N. That's how you spell the female okay. version. Okay. And then last okay. name, um... Remy. Like, Remy Redditude. <laughs> <laughs> Remy! How do you spell Remy? I do, we'll just spell it R-E-M-I. Because I've seen R-E-M-M-Y and R-E-M-Y and... Remy, the Redditude, the red of all my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what ever happened to the Ratatouille musical. <laughs> Someone let me know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so our our name is Oh, my oh, I did the last name thing wrong. Oh, what'd you do? What do you mean? It's the way that they have it, because I usually put L N, but they need it differently. Is it this? There we go. So our our name is Cameron Remy. We have short orange hair, green eyes. Tan skin. Caramel skin. <laughs> Should we put caramel? <laughs> do, do whatever you want. <laughs> We're putting caramel for that little inside joke. <laughs> Alright, caramel skin. <laughs> Our favorite color is emerald green. 
and our favorite food is Chick-fil-A sauce. This is our ideal woman. <laughs> this this is Sanji's dream woman. It's just knockoff you just Nami. Him just watching. No. <laughs> oh my god. Not knockoff Nami. <laughs> I can't- I can only imagine them just scooping Chick-fil-A <laughs> with their hands. It's terrible. Oh, uh, dude, I, I put that shit on everything now. Cameron got me into sauces, and now I'm like, alright, give me the Chick-fil-A sauce. I, I need it for you, my meal. What did you do before sauces? I ate- I raw-dogged food, man. I was raw-dogging meat. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Good <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. That's not what I That's not what I meant. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't fucking clip that shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. Proceeding. Alright, anyway. I have a shiny quarter with me. To see who goes first with these. These are these are pretty long, right? No, they're, they're decently long. Okay. Alright, do you want to be heads or tails to, to read first? I shall be tails. Alright. <laughs> oh fuck, hold on, I gotta flip again. It fell off the table. <laughs> oh. It's heads! Awesome! I had to get a good old sip in my doctor bed before we start. <clears throat> there we go. Alright, hopefully everything translated well. Because sometimes when I go to the next chapter, nothing carries over. <laughs> so hopefully this goes well. And hopefully I don't say more shit out of pocket <laughs> about Sanji. You know, maybe this book is what I need to get back into my love of, of blonde men that can cook. Maybe, maybe after we do this recording, you what? like... What? <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought about a blonde man who could kind of cook. Oh, we. Do you know other blonde men that can cook? <laughs> <laughs> you, do you, can you have like a link? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, like, like, like right after this recording, I'm just like, yeah, I, I bought five Sanji figures to, and a couple jars. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Not the jars. <laughs> 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 Alright. <Wow. laughs> Valentine's Day. The perfect day for lovers to profess their love for one another. Those lucky to have a date or someone to spend time with. Roam the streets holding hands, sharing glances, or even kisses. It was- yeah, the whore. <laughs> PDA out in public. Rose. Yeah. It was truly a, a nice sight, even for Sanji, who just lit his fifth to fifth. Fifth cigarette. Damn. Man's trying to get lung cancer. Speed run. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually not a lot. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I well, feel like I that's know. so... What, like, how many is he smoking at, like, in in a short amount of time? Yeah, you know? like, is this is this his fifth cigarette of the day? Or is this his fifth cigarette? Like, in an hour. <laughs> oh, gosh. Like, we actually turn to him, he's actually got five in his mouth. And he's like, yep, just another fuck. <laughs> he doesn't, like, tape together. <laughs> <laughs> He's pulling a smoker. He's got yeah. two on one side or the other. Yeah. He just tapes five at once and lights them all up. And he's like, yep, just another day. Just single. <laughs> just crying. He's got him like a harmonica. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, am I crazy for thinking this? I thought it was a thing, but isn't it a thing if, like, if you're an active smoker for years, you lose your sense of taste? Uh, I think. So, I think that's a thing. Damn, that's gonna be rough on him. He's a chef. <laughs> he's not gonna be able to taste any of his food anymore. No, he's built different. No. <laughs> he's in one piece. The GMOs, you know? Yeah, lung cancer doesn't he's exist. He's genetically modified. <laughs> Even for Sanji, who just lit his fifth cigarette since he got there, he was truly a romantic who believed that day would be truly a day to celebrate love. He had even gotten himself a date. A date that was an hour late. Damn, he was- he's- So he's been smoking five cigarettes for an hour, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Relax, he said to himself. He wasn't one to panic over those things, but because of the time and the fact that she didn't answer his messages, he kind of figured out that she may not show up. 
He could have left at any point, but the beauty of the night was perhaps what made him stay. All because although he was alone, he couldn't help but to watch the people passing by, Ever. smiling. I, I, wait, smiling and caring for one another. He wanted something like that for himself. I'm sorry. A message popped up on his phone, which made him sigh in relief. At least she apologized or even said something. It wasn't the first time he was left waiting for someone who never arrived. I would never. I, I would never let Ew. this man wait. <laughs> I'm there on time with flowers. In <laughs> Yeah, I, I'll be there and not a minute late. <laughs> I'll treat you right. Sanji, just hit me up. I'll, I'll take care of you. <laughs> But it had never happened on him on Valentine's Day. Deciding that he was already out, he decided to go for a walk. At least he could do that for himself on that nice night. He was glad that he was at least having a break. He had begged, begged Zeph to let him miss the day, despite the restaurant being extremely full because of the holiday. With the excuse that he had a date, and now he only had a free night. He was surely not going to mention anything to Zeph. He knew that he would make... It worse, work even more just to mess up with him for missing the night for a girl that never arrived. After walking for some time, he found himself in a pretty plaza not far from where he worked. He walked there from time to time, but that night it seemed rather... Uh, melancholic. Oh, melancholic. <laughs> he made his way to the bench, crossing his leg and watching people pass by as he let his... SIX! Six. <laughs> His next cigarette. That man's probably going through a pack a day. <laughs> yeah, holy shit. Do you think he smokes while he cooks, or no? <laughs> probably adds a nice flavor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah cigarette ashes. <laughs> Great smell. Flavor. <laughs> the smoke coming out was taking a form of the cloud of a lonely man. Sandy was lost in his thoughts, not in a bad way, but more of a deep one where he questioned some decisions he had made, perhaps just asking the wrong girl out or insisting too much. Are you okay? A voice brought him back. An orange-haired girl stood in front of him. She was pushing a flower stand and looking a little concerned for the lonely man. I'm okay, he said with a nice smile which made her rise an eyebrow and reach for something in her stand. She took out a purple flower an iris and handed it to him. He hesitated to take the flower. You could use some help, she said insistingly. The girl or boy, I don't judge. Decided to not show up is on them, not you. She said, reading him like a book. I love that we added in like, yeah, boy, girl or boy, I don't, I don't judge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn it, I can't say that. <laughs> How did you know? If it's not rude to ask, he at, he said, uh, politely taking the flower. He was confused by how she managed to reach that conclusion, which made him a little awkward that she found out. You're alone outside on Valentine's Day, she said with a rather understanding voice. It's okay. It happens all the time, she said, looking around, to which her eyes meet another tragic soul sitting on the bench. Sanji also caught her caught her wandering as if she had gone through the same thing. They say sad souls understand one another, she said, picking a small bouquet of white chamomiles and handing them over to him, who was astonished by the sudden act of the girl. Do you want me to? He asked, confused. You can do whatever you want with them, she said calmly, despite the obvious intent for him to gift them to the other girl. Sandy was very confused by how the situation had turned out, but somehow had com had confidence now for what he was going to do. <laughs> Sandy slowly walked towards the girl on the bench, who looked like she was about to cry from the bad night. To which, for her, a bouquet of pretty flowers appeared in front of her, along with a sweet smile of a blonde gentleman. See, Sanji, I, <laughs> I can I can do a <laughs> lot more for you. <laughs> I couldn't help but notice that you're sad, he said, and I uh, I like to be the one that helps you change that. The smoothness in his words made the girl blush. The confidence he had just regained had helped a lot. May I? Y yes. I'm oh, sorry, what was the question? 
As <laughs> he said, asking to sit next to her, which she nodded. Sanji took a seat next to her and looked to see the girl with the flower stand, giving him a thumbs up from the distance, in which he smiled. It was a good night after all. Thank you for the flowers, the girl next to him said, smelling them. And thank you for approaching. A boy stood me up. <laughs> Boys are awful, Sanji said, trying to get her to not cry. If you didn't show up, that nuts on them. You have nothing to worry about, mademoiselle. Yeah, I can fucking read. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your fault, he said, quoting what he heard from the flower girl. Is that all we are? Is that, are we only just a flower girl? Thank you. I guess so. <laughs> Thank you. She's Why do you read her like that? I don't know, I gotta distinguish. <laughs> okay, God. She said, kissing his cheek, which made Sanji's face turn red, and... And warning for an upcoming nosebleed, which then she could show that not scare the girl away. Do you want to walk? She said, a little shut. That's not how I said that. <laughs> Wherever you want, he said, standing up and offering his hand nicely, which he took with a s slight blush on her face. He looked over to see the flower girl to, to pay her for at least a bouquet while passing by, but neither she or the flower stand were near. No matter where he looked. He wanted to thank her, or at least, at least know why she had helped him. A mystery that he would have, wait, have to wait to solve for another time. And... we smash? <laughs> <laughs> and... We... A little early. Oh. A little early. Yeah, chapter 18. That's, that's, that's it. Sanji <laughs> hummed um. <laughs> In the Baratie. It wasn't a busy day. So, being a little light while working was allowed by Beth's intimidating stare. The blonde elegantly walked from meal to meal to, from a meal to the other, leaving them in more than perfect state to be delivered. The client outside. He not only was very light on work, but he was in a really good mood, which somehow impacted his a lot of his work. Not only by how fast he seemed to finish them, but the quality somehow got better despite not being actual change on the ingredients or recipe. Are you still talking to that girl? Hetty asked, teasing Sanji. It was a chance of a lifetime since he really got girls to actually go out with him. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. You seem a little too happy if you ask me, he said jokingly. She's an angel, Sanji said, leaning over the girl he had met on Valentine's Day. After walking with her for some time, she gave him her number and had gone out a couple times a couple times with Sanji's luck. He wished the best Ah, he wished I can't see. <laughs> he wished the best of lives to the girl with the flowers who had helped him. Not only to save a girl from crying, but got him a partner of some sort, as they weren't staying. As she said, I want to invite her here, he said, with hearts in his eyes before remembering Beth and other staff. But not yet, he said, knowing they would scare her off and kept working. <laughs> Little eggplant. Zeph entered the kitchen with his arms crossed, which made everyone work twice as fast, despite not being anything to hurry up for. Zeph looked around for Sanji before calling him again. Come here, right now. We have something to discuss. He said, Ooh, to which he frowned. Someone's <laughs> mad. <laughs> someone's in trouble. <laughs> Whenever he acted like that, it could only mean he was angry or stressed out for something. Coming, he said, leaving his last order ready to go. No one to leave it half done. Sanji followed the old man to his office, where it was clear he was full of things to do. Uh, to do the paperwork on the tape. Yeah. Yeah. Things to do due to the paperwork on the table. Zeph sat down and looked at Sanji. What? This next week, Zeph said, hoping Sanji knew what he was talking about. Sanji didn't seem to get into it, as he was very vague about what he was talking about. The restaurant's 15th anniversary, dumbass, Zeph said, lighting a cigarette to which Sanji did the same. Sanji couldn't believe it had been that long. For him, it had, been barely, it had barely been a couple of years since it had really been 15 years. Oh, others know. 
is really 12, but for the sake of the story, let it be 15. I already started some things. We we're having a nice dinner celebration with our important clients and guests and friends or whatever. He said while Sanji sat in front of him. A big event would be nice, he commented. Perhaps it could be a good excuse to bring the girl over he was seeing. Invite her over for a nice dinner. It's going to be a busy day, he answers himself. And he wouldn't be able to be with her because he was going to be working. Just busy enough, Steph said. Please don't incommodate out lady guests. Commented. To which Sanji smiled happy as he was already seeing someone. He wasn't going to do anything. But Steph knew nothing about the girl, so for him it was really like she wasn't even real. Anyway... We want to get a nice decoration and all. A friend recommended me a store in downtown nearby to go there and give the owner this instruction. He said. You take care of it and tell me how much it is. If it's over our usual event budget, we'll figure it out. Okay, I'll go right now. Sanji took the instructions and nodded to Zeph to say goodbye. He could tell he was excited if he was going to hire someone to decorate. He would usually do it himself, but he couldn't help but to be excited as well. Fifteen years is a lot. Yeah. Sanji took no time. Huh? No, never mind. My dumbass heard like that. Like that's a lot, and I was like, "Damn, are we talking about inches?" <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Damn. I'm sorry. I mean, fifteen inches is pretty big. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I'll go. I'll go. Uh, where's the noose? I just had it. <laughs> oh my god. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Sanji <laughs> took no time going out. Now he was in an even better mood. He walked through the familiar streets, following, following the address that had gave him. To the point of getting into the area, he didn't walk through a lot. He knew it, but it wasn't on his way home or to work. Yet, it was where he had met the girl, so... So thanks to the memory, his mood could only get better. There was nothing that could make that day bad. He was fast to arrive at the address, noticing it was a flower shop. One that he was doubting about, he was doubting about, like, if, if there were something that had brought him here more than the address. Good evening, he said, entering the, the shop, which the door made a little bell ring. There wasn't any clients inside, but flowers adorned every single corner of the shop with grace, and the smell made Sanji take a deep breath to appreciate it better. Is there someone here? He asked, getting to an empty counter. He could hear steps coming from behind the counter, so he stopped calling. I'll be there in a second, a nice sweet voice said. The girl Sanji had seen before walked from behind the, the counter with a yellow rose in her hand. Hello, good evening. How can... She looked at him for an instant, with seeing his face being familiar before she clicked. Oh, Valentine's boy, how are you? She said kindly. Her messy orange... I couldn't remember the silver hair. Her messy orange hair is showing that she's been working on something. Oh, good, good. Sanji said rather excited to see her again. I wanted to thank you for what you did the other night. Uh, thanks to you, I'm going out with that girl right now. Her face lit up by his words. It was all you, she said. I only gave you flowers, she said, leaving the yellow rose on the counter. I'm glad you're doing fine. How can I help you? She asked. Do you need a bouquet for the lucky girl? Uh, no, not right now, he chuckled. I need flowers for an event. He handed her he handed her the instructions to which she started reading, her face smiling more at each word she read, getting excited to do the job. It's the anniversary of the place I work at, he commented, her eyes going back to him. I don't see why this would be a problem. I'll be there early to do my job, she said. And because this is a big event, I'll give you my special anniversary dinner. She made up from thin air. <laughs> she made up from thin air as she was more excited about doing decorations and being paid. But Sanji didn't know. At what name should I put the order? She asked, getting a notebook full of names out. Uh, Sanji, he said. Er, Zeph. He thought. Or the Baratier, he re repeated, trying to be more professional. To which she saw her write, Sanji. Sorry for asking. But what's your name? She looked up. To closing her book with a kind smile. 
Who are we again? Cameron. <laughs> Cameron. <laughs> uh, Cameron, you'd always call back if you have any doubts, he said. Sending a business card that looks rather pretty. Sanji took it. Reading. Evergreen Flower Shop. <laughs> and the phone number of the shop. And at the bottom <laughs> was her name. Uh, Cameron. <laughs> Cameron Remy. <laughs> 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 now I gotta fix this. There we go. Perfect! You're telling me you hate the name? No, I'm not saying that. I just can't remember it. Just couldn't remember it. But for someone who couldn't remember, you were laughing a lot. Like, it was. I take the No, I'm, I take I'm, the... I'm laughing at Remy. <laughs> I forgot take... we chose Remy. Take the well... take the name Cameron Remy to, to heart. <laughs> take it very seriously. Like all the other ones. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I think I could take Toaster a bit more seriously than Remy. <laughs> Not um... Toaster! Kaya Toaster! Kaya Toaster was great. <laughs> What was the name of the one that we gave for law? <laughs> for for the first law? No, we didn't. Penny. Really tell me. <laughs> Her name Penny. was Penny. Penny. I can't Penny remember. Thompson. Yeah, Penny Thompson. You're like God. We gotta that do it. That one's not that bad. Yeah, we wanted a two inanimate object. And like, come on, man, we can't do that. <laughs> you refused. All right, chapter three. Alright, let me get a sip of DP over here. What? Don't call it that, please. <laughs> what the? Why? My Dr. Pepper, DP! <laughs> I don't want to have to explain to you. No, wait, we'll wait, wait, wait. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> no, you gotta tell me now if I gotta stop saying this. At least text it to me. <laughs> We're gonna have to age restrict this. What? What? Oh, okay. <laughs> Chapter 3, I guess. <laughs> I'll be there. S I'll try to be there. Can't wait. Have a nice day. I don't know who's talking. <laughs> Sanji, s Sanji smiled, seeing his phone before first sighing and turning it off. He was getting excited, but he couldn't get his hopes up that as his date had told him she was busy that day. She he looked in the mirror, fixing his tie and hair, knowing that he had to look especially presentable that day. After all, it was a special one for him and Zeph. He looked at the time, seeing that it just made that he was just going to make it on time and hurried up, cursing at Zeph for not walking him, waking him up earlier when he left. He had insisted on being there especially early, but had left Sanji to rest a little more, which surprised him. Almost there, old fart, he said, answering the phone, running faster to get there and hanging up. It was a big event, so big, the restaurant was practically at its maximum capacity as the rumors of the big celebration quickly spread around. Reservations were at their limit, and people who had gotten a spot were there con were considered very lucky. After all, the Bartie's reputation was quite pristine and respectable. Sanji stopped before entering the restaurant where people began approaching and waiting outside, despite the restaurant not being open until later that day. Some people just wanted to take any available spot possible. It was already clear in the entrance... Oh, wait, it was already clear in the entrance where beautiful flowers decorated were, but when he entered inside, he felt like the restaurant had turned into a paradise of some sorts. Flowers decorated elegantly, every table without taking much space. Corners fully decorated with bouquets and the ceiling of during the flower garlands. Garlands? Garland. Yay! I'm, I'm just imagining, like, our character went in and decorated it, and it was just like, Bleh! and it looks like a forest now, with, like, flowers, like, every fucking where. <laughs> that, that's what I'm picturing for this, and you cannot convince me otherwise. What do you think, little eggplant? Zeph said, patting Sanji's back, almost causing him to fall forward. I'm gonna give him a country accent, because I said so. It's nice. Is it nice or what? He laughed as the others ran to one side after seeing... Wait. 
as the others ran from one side to another, setting things in place. It looks great, Sanji said, wondering how much time she has spent putting all this up for them. It looked e impeccable and gorgeous, despite the low price that she gave them. Would she give her a nice t Yeah, you, you know, I'm... <laughs> I'm <Beat> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 fuck it. I'm not apologizing. <laughs> okay. Smash. All right. Anyway, already did. Zeph said, proud of his, proud of his place. He had grown so much since he started, just like Sanji. Now get your ass in the kitchen and get. We have an anniversary to do. He said, punching his head in which Sanji stomped to the kitchen. Yet as soon as he stepped inside, his foot were light and they moved from one place to another, setting things just right. Like, like in one piece. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Of course it was busy. So busy that one of the waiters that they had hired had practically passed out due to stress. It was a shame, since now Sanji had to go up and act up as a waiter until Zeph commanded otherwise. He didn't mind. In fact, he wanted to take the opportunity to look after his date, who who at the moment hadn't arrived. He wondered if, if sending her a text would be a good option, but his job wasn't very forgiven for taking breaks, especially at that time. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Didn't yeah. it just say that, like, that his date was busy? Well, maybe, like, yeah, I'm busy, but, like, I'll try, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, that's what I'm thinking. Welcome to the Barty's 15th anniversary dinner. Give me a second and I'll take your order, he said, cleaning up the table as he looked up to find himself staring at familiar eyes. Hello, she said. The flower girl alone in the in a small table, looking very pretty and fixed up for the occasion. Sanji couldn't could almost swear he skipped a beat when she smiled at him, but he dismissed it a second later. I'm glad I'm so glad to see you here. Sanji said, picking up some dirty glasses from the table. You did an amazing job here. It's more than I could have wished for this day. Thank you a lot. Thank you for commissioning me. She said genuinely. I love doing doing this thing. I even got invited to come, so I should thank you for letting me try your amazing food, too. Oh, I insist, he said. I'll be back in one moment. I'll bring you the best we have on the menu, he said. Except, do we need to get the order? <laughs> what if I'm a vet? What if I have dietary restrictions, Sanji? <laughs> so rude. <laughs> Sanji would never. He would, he, would, <laughs> he would never treat a woman like this. Me. He got excited and walked away holding as many things as he could. She sat there looking around at the amazing event. The things she liked the most was seeing the people enjoying her work. She smiled as a couple took a flower to themselves which only made her day even, like, even better seeing that they liked it. Here it is. Sanji laid a delicious plate of steak with sauce and toppings that she couldn't quite recognize. Please tell me the sauce is Chick-fil-A sauce, and you just went- <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna assume all sauce is Chick-fil-A sauce. Yeah. No, I can imagine, like, it's it's way perfectly- It's a steak, so I'm imagining, like, like what those, like, sautéed mushrooms and, like, onions and, like, Worcestershire sauce on it, and we're like, Oh my god, thank you! And then we reach in our bag, pull out a gap, like, a- The, the container of Chick-fil-A <laughs> sauce, and just go- <laughs> Just- Just dump it on top of it. <laughs> Oh, God. Bon appetit, he said, waiting for her to try it out. She cut it slowly and gave a bite in which her eyes glowed. I think I would be very uncomfortable if the, if the waiter sat there and watched me cut my steak. <laughs> and, and <laughs> what if he cut the steak for you? Oh, my. You know what I mean? Sanji. Sanji. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is simply delicious, he said. she said, happily chewing on the food. How's the girl, by the way? She looked around. Did you invite her? He nodded. Good, she should She should try this. It's the best meal I've ever had. Oh, sorry. Uh. Wrong voice. <laughs> Thank you, he said, looking around. She said she was busy, so she might not be able to come. But it's alright, he said. I'll invite her here sooner or later. 
Don't forget to pass by the flower shop, she said, after finishing another bite. I thought that said after she finished the plate. I'm like, damn, we fucking ate that steak fast. <laughs> she went, um. <laughs> I can always find a good bouquet for the occasion, she winked. Sonny chuckled at the offer. He couldn't believe that someone like her existed. So full of joy and caring for others. So I flirted with the customers and get here already. Zeph pulled Sanji away from her, taking him to the little stage as they set up for the restaurant. Sanji wanted to complain, but it was too late as Zeph called for everyone's attention and to give a cheer for the restaurant. Thank you all for coming here tonight, he said, rather normal. It wasn't a man for events, but he was too invested to not say something. Everyone here is celebrating today with us is the 15th anniversary of the bar tea. It's been 15 incredible years being here, and it's always a pleasure serving you. Cheers for 15 more, he said with a... S Don't laugh at the country accent. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. What do you mean it's bad? That's how people speak down here. <laughs> yeah, of course you say that. Asshole. <laughs> You telling me no rednecks down here talk like this? I don't know where you're growing up there, Missy, but... <laughs> no sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay, Jersey. Oh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> he smiled- He said with a smile on his face that was priceless. Everyone raised their glasses, cheering and clapping for such an amazing moment. Thank you. He's- He's vo- His- Bleh. His words caught him by surprise. Zeph placed a hand on his head, messing Sanji's hair in annoyance, and yet both shared a heartfelt smile. Now get back to work, you lazy but you lazy pants, he said, pushing him off the stage. I can see that. Just <laughs> just punch him. <laughs> I'll get you for that shitty geezer, he yelled, before fixing himself and continuing work. His first thought being the table where Cameron was but he got closer to find it was empty with the ticket and tip ran on the table. Have you seen the lady that was here? He asked one of the waiters passing by. She paid and left, the waiter said, leaving Sonny to wonder if he was going to see her again. Perhaps he could use her help with his date. He took the tip to... He, damn, he took the tip? Question mark? No, I'm kidding. He took the tip to give to the waiter who had given her the check but found something written on it. Congratulations on your anniversary, Sanji and Zeph. Hope you like the flowers. He couldn't help but to smile at her, on her comment, wanting the old man to keep the ticket or keep it himself as a memory of that great day of his. Beautiful, fantastic, gorgeous, 10 out of 10. I love Sanji. <laughs> Alright, this will probably be the last chapter we read. Of okay. uh, chapter 4. You're in front of you. You took a deep breath. It was a very good day. Many customers and many things to do. Your day started with a nice cup of tea. You made your morning and that nice walk from your home to the flower shop, which was just below your home. You just received jasmines you ordered, which made the whole shop smell even better as it mixed up with the other flower fragrances. Well, it was Saturday morning, which meant you had to go out go out at night to walk around many streets of your city with your flower cart, which you love to do. Not only because you actually got to walk this time, but because you love seeing how happy people were when they got to buy flowers for others, and the fact that you were, you being outside meant you could see them smiling, and the smiles of those who received them. Which one should I take tonight? You asked Ella, your only, your only worker in the store. She looked up from her phone to see around and shrugged. Ella wasn't one to talk much, but you knew she wasn't very interested in working either. And you appreciated her company and honesty more than anything. Do we still have any of those bouquets we, bouquet, bouquets we did yesterday? I don't know why I said bouquets. I'm bouquets. like literally illiterate. <laughs> uh, they're in the back. At least that. But the red flowers are starting to dry. We can only fix them, he said, going to the back to get them. Ellie, on the other hand, did one of the few things that actually required her to do homework, which was taking the cart out. Do you think this will do, he said, getting out as many bouquets, placing them on the cart. I think so. You should take the pink roses, too, Ellie said. The cart always makes her happy. She likes seeing what flowers got to be there, and you always listen to 
their opinion. That's a good idea. I think I could sell those in the bouquets you told me to do too, he said. In less than an hour. In less than an hour, the cart and you were ready to go. I'll try to be back by eight, but if it takes me longer, you could just go home, he said, waving at Ellie, who walked back into the store with her phone already back on her face. There he was, waiting outside like he agreed with her. Sanji was feeling nervous, as every time he had seen her. He was, he was, he was hopelessly in love with her. Jolie. <laughs> Just that, I know. <laughs> I was too close to my name, I got scared! <laughs> the, the author saw in the future that you were gonna read this book and they're like, I gotta- I gotta scare this bitch. <laughs> it would've been really funny. It would've been really funny if we chose to keep Phoenix. Cause then Sanji would've left me for you. <laughs> Dude, you're right! We gotta change it. <laughs> too late. Damn it! <laughs> Just that time you met her at the plaza. That Valentine's Day, he couldn't stop thinking about her. Not only that, he was keen to get another date, get other dates with her. Jolene, Sanji, I can't read that. My brain, I can't read my own name. Sanji called for the girl as he approached slowly. He walked towards seeing her, but she was busy on her phone. Jolie, you look so pretty tonight. Oh, he said, leaving her phone on her purse. She smiled, which made Sanji smile. He had been seeing her more, a little more than a month, and he loved everything about her, yet he couldn't help but see that her smile seemed different, and the fact that he knew her little, he knew her little. She refused to talk much about her, and, but she was patient. He could wait. Hello? How are you? Oh? Wait? Hold up. Oh! Hello, who are you? I should be the one asking that, he said, kissing her hand which she smiled at. She laughed a little weird before looking away. What's the ice cream? She said as she started walking without Sanji, who was fast to catch up to her. You work over there, right? She asked, sitting behind them, where they were supposed to eat. Sanji nodded proud. Never been there. Sorry. It's okay. You can meet at any time, he said, with hearts in his eyes. I'll make sure you can You'll, you'll get the best of the best to eat, I promise. Free? Her question raised a weird red flag in his head and was quickly dismissed, but he noted, to which he took up his hand, making him almost pass out of the action, but he put himself back together to walk along to the state to get her what she asked for. Can I have that one? A man asked you. He looked over at his date, but pink all over, all over her face from what she was about to receive. Do you like that, love? She nodded, smiling, hugging him. Oh my close. god, they're British! <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Of course. I don't know. <laughs> I just heard of them course. say love, and I'm like, oh shit, British people. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. I... Crazy if we knew anyone British, right? Yeah, that's crazy. I would never associate with British people. <laughs> <laughs> You're terrible. You're terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna get so much- I feel like I'm gonna get sent, like, 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 it's, I'm gonna get sent, like, um, like, a text message, and I'm gonna look at it, and it's an image of me looking at my phone, and it just says, like, like, the little red circle with the little, like, target. <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna be at, like, a little- Like, take the shot. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have that one? I'm gonna ask for you. She looked at the face, that pink all over her face from what she was about to receive. Do you like that, love? She nodded, smiling and said you came even closer. Of course, he said, giving them the bouquet. Enjoy your night! They nodded, giving you the money, to which you couldn't help but stare at them happy. From your years of staring, you've come to learn a lot of things. And you could tell they were recently formed couple for the awkward moment and how she couldn't stop blushing. It was adorable. Seeing the area a little empty, you moved your cart to a little plot nearby. And you looked around, seeing many couples and people together, when a certain couple called for your immediate attention. Sanji was... fine, and he was sitting on the bench with Jolie, who had been on her phone since they got the ice cream, and kind of ignoring him since they sat down. He wasn't sure how to continue the conversation or what to do. 
Jennifer felt this weird or uncomfortable the girl in his life. He was unsure how to continue. A flower for the pretty girl? A familiar voice called his attention, and he looked up to see it holding a small, yet a very pretty and delicate bouquet. Well, of course, he said, standing up. Standing up to get them, which made Jolene just notice that there was someone else present, but returned to her phone. They're pretty as always. Well, thank you. Is everything okay? You asked, seeing how the dynamic seemed rather quiet between the two of them. Something was off about them, and you could see that Sanji clear clearly glad to have just moved from the bench, although you weren't sure if he had noticed it himself. Yeah. Of course. It's just a tired night, he said, wishing to be, to be the reason why Joe Lee was so quiet. How was your night? Yeah, seeing the cart a little further away from where they were, the cart already running out of flowers. It's quite a pretty night, he said, offering the flowers to Joe Lee as Sanji hadn't taken them yet. Pretty flowers for a pretty lady? Julie was surprised by the bouquet that suddenly appeared in front of her, making her look at Sanji with that smile that he had met her with. Thank you so much, Sanji, she said, standing up to hug him. Before he knew it, you were walking back to your car and waving at him and wishing him good luck. Soon, Julie seemed talkative, as if she only needed those flowers to speak, and although she was now actually interacting with him, he couldn't stop looking at him. Yeah, we're the main bitch. <laughs> Yeah, we're the main character. <laughs> but, uh, what, what do you think so far about this? I know you're skeptical since this is unfinished. It's interesting. It's interesting. It's interesting. That's all you have to say about it. It's... That's it. That's it. We haven't. We haven't even gotten that far. Yeah, we're not in chapter eighteen. That's when shit gets real. <laughs> we just got to the part where he's like, have has even showed attraction towards us. Yeah, he better hurry up, bro. <laughs> We just got there, it's okay. Yeah, TikTok, bitch. <laughs> oh my god, you're so impatient. <laughs> Have you seen some of my fic recs I've given you where it takes them like these 30, 40 long chapters for them to even like hold hands? Yeah, or I'm, like, confess? Uh, I'm like, oh my god, just make out her. <laughs> Eventually, we'll get there. Uh, chapter 18. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, I'm not. <laughs> technically. Oh god. You're so impatient. This is just like the law one. Where you go, oh my god, chapter 20. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, this is interesting and all, but like, when am I gonna get to the smut? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, this is very good and I like this author a lot. I wish they would, I don't know, become alive again. That would be pretty cool. You just create a summoning circle. Yeah, I was about to do that. I was like, if the if, I was like, if the merch does not release filler busy pop today, I'm going home, putting all my summer merch into like a pentagram, fucking in like, in like a, an array and summoning it myself. Oh my god, I was serious. Okay. Yeah, I haven't. I have problems. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you for being my th free therapist and uh, joining me for this session and whatnot. <laughs> but, uh. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, before we end this session, we need to do one more thing. We need to spin the <gasps> wheel to see our fate. The wheel. The wheel. I hope it's romantic. Oh my. Alright, where are you. Oh god. I. Okay. Well, you're, you're scared that it, if it ever lands on my choice, you're like, my fate is doomed. <laughs> please, God. Please. Alright, ready? please. Sure. Okay. <laughs> no. No, 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 I'm gonna kill myself, this is terrible. Well, guess what we're reading, Joey? This is so rigged. This is so rigged. <laughs> I can see the screen recording. <laughs> what do you mean? Do, do you Every want me day. to spin again? <laughs> no, no, no. It's fine. Okay. I guess I'll have to deal with it. <laughs> I, I'll admit, I'm gonna miss the sage after this and be like, you've been spared. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Okay, I'm, they're gonna get two different messages, like me saying you you've been spared, they're just and then they're gonna message. get a message from you being like you son of a bitch, <laughs> like you lucky bitch. And they're they're gonna be like, huh? What the? F 
what? <laughs> huh? It's gonna be beautiful. Are you full of regret? Every day. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be that bad. <laughs> the, the silence. <laughs> Spook volume. <laughs> Hey, the, the fanfiction at least that we'll get to read has pictures. Wow. <laughs> what a delight. <laughs> wow, you sound so happy about this. <laughs> I, can, I can feel the death glare <laughs> coming, coming from the monitor right now. I also, I also see this like red dot on my hands. They like keeps moving. It's so weird. weird. Yes, <laughs> take the shot. Take the shot. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, thank you, Jolene, for joining for this. I'm glad you had fun. For how long this lasted until the end. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and then on screen somewhere is a playlist of all the other Wattpad book club readings that I've done with. Jolene and other people, including the last one that I did on the channel. So be sure to check all that shit out. Or don't. I I'm not gonna tell you what to do. And uh, and thank you to this person that wrote this fanfiction. It'll be in the description. And they have all the all this other cool stuff. They have a kid one. They have they have um uh Doflamingo and Zoro and they have Ace. That that one's pretty cool. I forgot all the other ones. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, my name is Phoenix. That was Jolene. They're they're currently dying right now. And I guess I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>